Hey guys and welcome to a new video on this channel, I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So today I will be showing you a new use case for the custom curated RSS feeds plugin and <clears throat> it will be importing uh, new RSS feeds for this website from Aptoid. So this website does not have an RSS feed so if you search in its content or if you go here and type RSS and try to find its RSS feed you will not find one. <clears throat> so, as far as I know, this website does not have an RSS feed available. So, let's create one for it right now. So, let's copy the URL of the website and go into Custom Curated RSS Feeds Web Crawl to Feeds menu. And let's paste the URL of the website in the scraper start URL. <clears throat> we wish to get a maximum of 10 feed items per feed. Let's give the feed name Aptoid. <clears throat> Hit settings. Let's scroll down here until we see do not scrape start URL to net uh, include content also from the start URL that we use to start scraping only from URLs that are found on this page. Scroll down, <clears throat> content query type and seed page crawling type. These are the two options that we need to modify. So first let's modify the seed page crawling type. Select visual selector for a much easier content selection and simply select one title that leads to an example APK. So in this case, TikTok. Scroll down and content query string and content query type. So we can also select here visual selector. And if we done everything correctly, we will be presented with an example APK page. And here we can select the description <coughs> because now we are selecting content query type and we can go ahead and save settings. So now the plugin will be able to generate an RSS feed for Aptoid page and it will generate an RSS feed for a website that does not have an RSS feed so far. Or uh, we don't know about the existence of this RSS feed even if it exists. Okay, so the crawling process is started now and it should take a bit longer because the plugin imports 10 posts from the Aptoid page and it is finished. Now let us refresh the page and we will see a link here appearing. Let's click the link and now we will see also each and every <coughs> APK listed in a feed item. So if we check, for example, the feed link and enter it here, a new <clears throat> APK will be opened. And if we go down, copy this link and another APK should open. So this is how you will be able to create custom curated RSS feeds for websites that do not have an RSS feed already in their content. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I release new videos each day at 8 p.m. GMT, so your subscription is really appreciated. Thank you for staying until then. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Bye-bye.